up guys welcome back to yet another video in this video i'm going to talk about getting to a single digit body fat percentage or i must say below 10% body fat naturally okay now by naturally i mean without any use of anabolic steroids which includes a fat burning agents like clenbuterol or whatever stanozolol t3 and all these things so naturally means you can use like uh, any non banned substance or substances that are not banned so fat burners that you get over the counter or any website that is totally fine so including supplements okay now there are a few things that you should be knowing about the body fat percentage in itself so what i see what i've been seeing recently is that people are boasting about being 5% 4% 6% posting their pictures and they are not even close to like 10% okay so basically what you need to know is just because a person is having abs doesn't mean he is under 10% even though 80% of the times that person will be most probably around 8 to or 10 to 12 percentage okay so first thing that you should know is that body fat can't be measured just by any uh, normal gym machines now there are machines in your gym which you find uh, which will show you you will be having abs so you will be very uh, interested in knowing about your body fat and it might show that you are around uh, 8% 7% and i've seen people being showing uh, like 6% when they do not, do not even look even close to 6%. So now, uh, of course, that is the main thing, guys. So you should know what 10% actually is. So to know the body fat percentage, the two things that I recommend is a DEXA scan. So DEXA scan can be done in um, hospitals, I think. I've never done uh, the body fat testing. I'll tell you why, but uh, I've never done the body fat testing. The other type is uh, using calipers. Now, calipers are very cheap. You get it for like 200 bucks on eBay and even amazon i guess so the thing is there are sub, uh, different formulas and you need to do like the pinch okay you should pinch the fat from different parts of your body and then you need to check it out and uh, by the readings and apply it into your uh, uh, formula so just like how you do the vernier caliper okay if you remember in 11th standard physics i guess so we used to have the vernier caliper so you used to measure the thickness so this is what you do with the caliper so body fat that is how you should test your body fat and all the other methods like like a weighing scale in the gym they are not accurate but one thing is what you can do is you can at least keep on checking using the same machine from the starting to the end so that at least you'll have a okay at least a guess okay but if it shows like five percent when you have like a lot of fat in your body it's not at all true okay so now i'll tell you guys the ways you should be getting to 10 percent body fat fat and who should try to get to 10 percent body fat now i'll display a few pictures of uh, a uh, few bodybuilders who compete in natural organizations the first one is alberto nunez so he did the dexa scan and he was shredded as like shredded as f and he was so ripped and of course i thought that before i watched that video it'd be like some four percent but i think it showed around six percent so this is an example of six percent body fat and recently i saw another picture i couldn't i can't remember his name but i'll put the picture on the screen so you can see that he show it shows that it's ten percent so every human being deposits fat in different areas of the body so just because a person has abs doesn't mean he is around 10% some people store the fat in their arms some people store a lot of fat in their belly and their lower back like me but some people don't store the fat in their belly they store in their arms and their upper back and, and the thighs and all this area so you guys know i don't store a lot of fat in my thighs and uh, my arms but i store a lot of them in my belly and my uh, lower back so that is all it is guys it's not something special now I'll tell you guys why I don't check the body fat. Now, DEXA scan doesn't come cheap. I think it costs around 5,000, 6,000 rupees. If I'm not sure, if you check Google, it says around 130 dollars. So it is not that cheap. Secondly, I when I cut, right, I don't cut for a show. And uh, uh, like if I don't cut for a show, it is not that important that I know how much of the fat percentage I'm losing. I know how I'm losing at a decent rate. And uh, like, for example, 500 grams per week. So that is a pretty decent rate to lose your body fat now hope that i've cleared all the things about losing body fat now how to get to 10 percent body fat now there are many factors now if you are a beginner right who is fat right fat so for you getting to 10 percentage or below 10 percentage should not be your goal so the only reason you should be getting below 10 percent is if you are going to have a photo shoot or if you're going to compete on a show because in community you compete on a show compete for a show it's 10 percent is lot you should be like around six seven percent if you want to win right so then you should also see your uh, current body fat 
now for me i think i am around 18% body fat now okay but i might be even 16% or 14% so that is why i don't check so i know that i need to lose around 8 to 10 kg and at around that that stage i'll be at 10% body fat so you should know how your body is now if you are a uh, skinny fat guy your goal should never be to get below 10% at this moment you should be thinking about building muscle so the only people who should get below 10% is people who should be who should have good amount of muscle mass in their body now for example the last time when i got to a very ripped stage i don't know how i look okay i i think i would look pretty decent for one and a half years of training but i don't think at that stage i should have cut i should have concentrated on building more muscle lean muscle and now i would have had a better physique so i got shredded i'm pretty sure i was 10% or below 10% but it was not worth it so that is what i'm telling you guys don't always think about getting to a single digit body fat just because you have to like uh, impress someone or look good and it is not the healthiest body fat percentage like 15% is the best body fat percentage and if you have decent genetics whereas wherein you don't put a lot of fat in your ab area your lower back area that is like the best thing that can happen to you so most of the people who are in the fitness industry are not endomorphs or i must say not the people who get fat very easily okay so the most popular people are the, the usually the ones who are uh, either ectomorphs or like mesomorphs or those people who don't get fat very easily so these are the things now getting to 10% body fat it is as same as get losing body fat you keep on losing body fat for a longer period of time and you keep on losing fat losing fat losing fat and finally you get to that body fat level so the first important thing is you should have enough muscle mass to cut if you if you are like uh, uh, you have to cut like 10 kg and after you cut those 10 kg you don't even look like you lift then it doesn't make any sense right so if you are planning to cut to 10% body fat make sure you have enough muscle mass because if you started at around 16 inches biceps right and you end at around 13 inches biceps it, it means that you didn't have muscle you just had a lot of fat but if you lose like half an inch then it means that your cut was pretty good so take enough time to cut don't just cut one month before your goal date and you expect yourself to lose fat and maintain your muscle so have a longer cut for example now when you are natural right you are not going to put anything in your body that will make your body uh, like losing fat faster right so what you have to do is make sure you are uh, you preserve your metabolism so when you keep on cutting at a faster rate eventually your metabolism will stop or as they say metabolic damage and you won't lose any fat that is what happened with me last time so i had to do keto diet one hour of cardio so this time i don't want to do that i'm 90 kg today i lost 6 and 1/2 kg without doing lot of cardio so last week and this week i'm not done lot of cardio just random walking i'm just increasing my activity so the goal with that is when i am at the end of, end stage of my cut i can add cardio without worrying about losing muscle or anything if i suddenly start doing one hour of cardio who knows at the end i might have to do two hours of cardio right so cut for long enough and what i recommend is every 8 weeks right after 8 weeks have a break like have a break as in don't eat junk like just add the foods that you like okay because your metabolism will be slightly sl- slower than when you started so when you add such food like a little bit more carbs your metabolism will come back up your leptin levels will come up so that leptin is something which controls your hunger so you will get that your appetite back or whatever you want to call it so make sure that you have a diet break in between so if you diet for like 16 weeks or 20 weeks every 8 weeks if you take a break you'll get back some nutrients in your body and also you'll feel that you are energized more and you'll be your motivation level will be back so don't just keep on cutting for 30 weeks without any break in between so what i recommend is lose around half a kg per week not more than that initially you will lose more but once you get into the cut make sure that you cut slowly so in my honest opinion unless you are competing or even if you want to do some photo shoot or something which where your amount of muscle mass and all these things matter i don't think you should ever do your body fat test because it can be deceiving sometimes okay so dexa scan is very expensive you would rather spend those 6000 7000 for some food okay so look at yourself in the mirror make sure you don't lose lot of weight and uh, make sure if you lo- you're losing less weight then do some manipulation with your diet or cardio and uh, lift weights and as i told in the last video about cardio cardio should be used as a tool so that is what i'm doing i'm using cardio as a tool whenever i think i'm not losing enough weight i do cardio so make sure you keep all these things in mind one more question that i got after the last video is how to lose the last bit of fat 
now if you have reached to a stage where you have only little bit little bit of fat that is when things get real of course initially everyone can lose fat because you are reducing the food but if you cut it so much that you are at 1600 calories you just can't keep on cutting your calories right so that is when like you'll be asking what can i do now i can't cut calories i'm already doing 50 minutes of cardio like four times a week so what can i do right so that is when i in my honest opinion you should take a week off like not from the gym from your diet like don't be so serious add a little bit calories get your body to a normal stage and also your test levels will be very low i mean it will get lower when you are at like very low body fat percentage and most of the people do not cut for like 16 weeks most of the people just cut for 8 weeks like very fast i get messages on snapchat saying bro i lost like 20 kg in like 3 months and that is a lot okay even though you have you have abs but you could have maintained more muscle than what you have maintained right and you lose strength as well so that is why if if you are cutting for like 10% body fat or something and you start at 20% body fat make sure that you cut slowly okay cut for at least 12 or 16 or at least you can cut for even 20 weeks and just because you are cutting for 20 we- 20 weeks doesn't mean you are going to not lose weight or you are going to hurt your body that is when the diet break comes in like every 8 weeks take a week off from the diet don't eat junk just eat add a little bit more calories like if you are eating 100 grams of rice eat 200 grams of rice so that is what i'm saying so otherwise you will not get to that level and don't be confused by those silly machines that you find in the gym that you are 5% body fat and that is not realistic guys you can't just be 5% body fat and like lift such crazy weights you will be your hormone levels will be down and reaching 5% is not an easy task especially naturally so don't claim that you are 7% or something just look at the mirror when you feel like you are done enough just stop as simple as that so keep your body safe keep your health safe keep your mental state safe so how to reach to 10% body fat it's as simple as just cutting till you reach to 10% body fat and what is 10% body fat you guys might never know unless you do the dexa scan or something so just cut till you look good click pictures see your progress track your progress and don't lose lot of weight every week and when you feel that you're not losing weight like for two continuous weeks take a diet break add some calories or add some carbs and your body will get back to normal and that is how you lose fat to lose the last bit of fat yes you can try different methods like carb cycling keto diet maybe you can try for a week and then you realize that if it's not good for you just stop it and uh, you should always judge things by the way you are performing in the gym if you find that your performance is going down like considerably if you are benching 40 kg dumbbell press then you suddenly come to 25 like in 2 weeks it is not good right you are losing lot of strength so maintaining your strength is very important so i hope that all these points have been good enough to clear things out and yes you can reach to 10% body fat naturally not like how you think like doing it fast no not keto diet anything just a slow cut maintaining your muscle and having a maintaining your metabolic rate because some people can just get away because of their crazy metabolic rate like especially ectomorph but some people can't do that like me i can't just cut for 12 weeks fast and i can't expect my metabolism to be same without doing any high intensity or lot of cardio so i don't want to do that so that is why i'm sharing all this uh, my uh, tips with you guys because last time when i got lean i could have done many things differently so that's all so getting to 10% is it possible yes how long will it take it depends on your current body fat how much weight should you lose in a week in my opinion if you are just targeting fat loss don't lose more than 500 grams in a week especially if you are natty and uh, add some cardio lift weights strength training is the best okay so yeah that's all guys hope you all liked it thumbs up and what do you think about my lotion t-shirt okay so i think it makes my neck look thicker so thanks a lot guys like this video share this video and uh, subscribe to my channel i'll be back again peace